It is one of my favorite things to make. It is my infamous, most famous chicken and shrimp Alfredo. Let me show you how easy it is to make, y'all. Stay tuned. What's going on my YouTube fam? Okay, hope everyone's doing well out there today you guys. Let's make us a big pot of chicken and shrimp Alfredo. Let's get into it. So, in my nice trusty pot here, my nice large trusty pot, I have two sticks of butter. Real salted butter. Do not use the fake margarine for this recipe. So, we are getting our butter nice and melted here. And as that is melting, we are going to infuse some minced garlic. You can chop up um, gar garlic cloves if you would like. I'm going the nice easy route. Minced garlic. A nice heaping spoonful. We like our Alfredo a little, a little garlicky. I love minced garlic in my pastas. So, two nice heaping spoonfuls of minced garlic. And we are just going to let that butter and garlic get to know each other. You know, they mingling. We're going to let this come to a nice bit simmer. And then we're going to add in our other stuff. So our butter is already nice and melty. So now I'm just going to let that garlic infuse within the butter. Meantime, I'm going to show you what cheeses I'm going to be using. We are using some. Make sure you guys can see it down a little bit more okay we are using some I hope you guys can see it some Italian cheese blend I got two bags of that Italian cheese blend and what this has in it is the mozzarella provolone parmesan asiago fontina and romano we are using some parmesan cheese we are going to use a blend of parmesan and romano and we are going to add in some Monterey Jack. So now our butter and garlic has come up to a nice little cute boil. So now let's add in our milk. We are using heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to open this up and get that over in there. Real easy peasy. Easy peasy y'all. What I'm also gonna do is turn my fire right now. It's like on a medium high. I'm turning my fire down to a low. Let's get in our milk. We're gonna use the whole thing. Okay. Pull it out just like that. We are also gonna go in with some ooh, regular vitamin D milk, vitamin D whole milk. I don't know, I just like the way the, the heavy whipping cream and the regular milk, I don't know, it just does something for me. It does something for me. Let's give this a nice stir and we are gonna bring this back up into a nice slow boil as well. So as that milk gets heated through, we are gonna be adding in our cheeses. Let that come up to a boil. Meantime, in between time, let's get our seasonings ready. And I will be back to show you guys what seasonings we are going to use for our Alfredo. Yeah. All right, my YouTube fam, let's get into it. So now our milk 
and our butter and garlic is nice and warm. So now let's start incorporating some seasonings first. So we are going to season this with some, oh my God, garlic salt. And yes, I am eyeballing, you already know, garlic salt. We are going to use some six pepper blend. Yes, boom, just like that. We are going to add some parsley flakes for beautiful color. I like a lot of parsley because that green looks so pretty, like when you plate it up. Okay, parsley. We are going to add us in some Zatarain's Creole seasoning. Boom, just like that. We are going to add in some grated Italian um, cheese. This is Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago. Grated. A little bit of that. We are going to add in some thyme. Let me see. I might have to take this lid off, y'all. Because we ain't got time. Hold on, this kind of is trying to come out. Okay, so we got some French thyme right there. We got some rosemary, Spain cracked rosemary. We fancy today. We fancy. Okay, we got us some rosemary, boom, just like that. We got us some oregano. Those Italian spices. Okay, oregano. And lastly, we are adding in some creamy peppercorn. Right? This stuff right here is so good. And it's gonna be so good in this Alfredo. So this pep this creamy peppercorn spice has um Black pepper, sugar, coarse sea salt, minced garlic, thyme, and parsley. It's so bomb. And it's actually like a dressing base. So it's just made for like creamy dishes like this. So I'm going to open up the lid if I can. Because it's coming out real good. Okay, let's see. There we go. So let's add in some of this. Flavor. Flavorful, flavorful Alfredo, y'all. And then, don't forget, I'm adding quite a few, quite a bit of this. Okay, and then don't forget, y'all, that our chicken is going to be seasoned to perfection. So that's just going to add for more flavor. So give all your seasonings a nice, good start. Okay. Get that nice and stirred up. Now... I said, now, 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 what we gonna do, look at all the seasonings in there. We gonna start adding our cheese. We got our Parmesan, we got our Parmesan cheese. Boom. We got our Parmesan and Romano. Boom. We got our Monterey Jack, which is just gonna make this so nice and creamy and delicious. We got our Monterey Jack. Boom. We got our Italian cheese blend. That wanna act funny and don't wanna open, but it's all good, cause I got scissors. Okay, we got our Italian cheese blend. Bye, y'all. And we got another bag of Italian cheese blend. So mad cheese is in this, y'all. We got mad cheese in this. Ooh, there we go. Here we go, baby. Throw away your trash. 
please get this trash away from your fire before your kitchen set ablaze. Get it together, sis. Okay. Now, let's give this a nice good stir. My heat is still on low because you don't want that cheese to burn and you don't want that milk to scorch. We don't want no scorching when it comes to our Alfredo. Get that nice stir. Oh, that cheese is already getting nice and fully. Look at that. Oh. Uh, so we're going to let this marry together, y'all. And as it marries together, it is going to get nice and thick and creamy. And then it's going to be time to move on to our protein. So I'm going to let that simmer, y'all, and I will be back. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, here is the um, chicken breast that I already went ahead and um, seasoned. Y'all see me season chicken a thousand times before. I use some kicking chicken, black pepper, garlic, you know, the usual. Season your chicken with what you want to season it with. Um, like I said, I use uh, garlic powder, kicking chicken, um... What else I use? I think a little bit of lemon pepper. Just a host of seasonings to get that flavor profile up. So now what I'm about to do is just take this. And I love these chicken breasts here because they are nice and thin. They're not crazy, crazy, like thick. So they are going to cook fast and they are going to sear up beautifully. It's going to be perfect for Alfredo. So what I'm about to do is just take my hands, y'all. And y'all know the drill. We just go get that stirred up. We're just going to get them all combined and stirred up. Now, as far as the um, shrimp goes, we are using the baby shrimp. So you can either do pasta like two ways. Um, you can just use some nice, big, colossal shrimp, pan sear them bad boys off, bomb. But you can also go this route where you're just using the um, baby shrimp. But if you go this route, make sure you use like at least two bags. I like going this route better because you get like a shrimp in every bite of the pasta. Um, also, it's quicker. All you have to do if you want is just poach these really quick in some butter. Um, you know, these are fully cooked. So you don't even have to do really anything but just wash them good, rinse them off, and unthaw them in some cool water. Throw them bad boys up in your sauce. The sauces go flavor these. So for this pasta today, I am going with the baby shrimp, but I'm putting 4,280,057,80 pieces in there. Okay. Um, our pasta sauce is doing great. Our pasta sauce is doing great. It is thickened up beautifully. You just want to continuously watch and stir. See that is thickening up nice and beautifully, that cheese. So we are almost ready to rock and roll, y'all. So what I'm going to do is finish um, seasoning up my chicken over here. And um, yes, I'm going to finish seasoning this up. And um, what am I trying to say? Yo, get it together. Get it together. Oh, yeah. And then I'll be back, y'all, to show y'all um, the chicken searing off. Be back, y'all. All right, my YouTube fam, here is the finished product. We have shrimp and chicken alfredo. Delicious, let me get in, let me get in close for y'all. We got some fresh steamed broccoli. We have our shrimp, our pan seared chicken, topped with some Parmesan cheese and more garlic. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.